Welcome back, guys. We got episode 67 of Stop, Talk, and Roll. Today we have Q right here and Eddie, who is off screen right now. Uh, these guys go to war. <laughs> got the big boys out here. These guys, I don't, I don't know how, I don't remember how this round goes. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But uh, generally, more often than not, it's a, it's a clash. So we're in for a good one either way. We'll get some good, good uh, information, get some good analysis going. Um, you know, and if it's good and you like it, like the, like the video, I'd appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell. I get these episodes out every morning, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Saturday. And if you'd like me to review one of your rounds, please reach out to me here, Instagram or on TikTok. The uh, information is in the description below. And let's jump into it. Okay. There we go, Eddie. Eddie's got earrings, which is why he wears that. Not because he has cauliflower ear. Um, real quick. Q, I like this initial kind of like flare of your elbow up and that gets him up. Um, what I would recommend is as you do that, pull down this way and that will let you get your head in the pocket a little bit more. You're kind of on the side of his temple right now. And I know you fix it briefly. So you pull down, you get in here. This is where you want to be fighting from. And Eddie, you do not want to be here, obviously. And you pull back. That's good. But cue your heads in here. Um, you can look for a, a duck under right here. Um, and he's probably going to immediately close down if you go for a duck under on this side, in which case you can do a foot sweep. Probably not because the window's right here, but you just step this foot up and get him here. So you go for a duck under. He overcorrects by, by basically opening. So his, his body's open on this side right now and closed on this side. He, if you go for the uh, duck under, he probably most likely overcorrects, overcorrects by making this side smaller and this side's gonna get elongated, right? Like this elbow would come up and get elongated and you would just continue the movement with your grips right here. So this would go up, this would go down and your foot steps forward to catch his and you just take him right over. Takedowns, they kind of always have to go hand in hand with one other thing. Like you're not just gonna hit like one thing. And then as it gets more complicated, you get to do ones, the next and the next and the next. Chain chain some moves together. So don't let them have these grips, both of you guys. Break these grips. Break the grips and get, get an, an advantageous grip. There you go, Q, nice. Nice, Eddie. Yeah, jack those plants up. I'm surprised they're still there. I don't know how Jeff Jeff does these things, and uh, they don't break. I don't want to say no, they don't break. Ooh. Why didn't that work? Ah, that's why. Eddie Eddie tripped him up. This is unfortunate timing. Yeah, so if, so if that foot's not there, that's going through. Nice. Okay. So why it's nice to look at some of these things because you might see that like at face value and be like, oh, my balance sucks. And it's like, no, you know, whether intentional or not, Eddie kind of threw his, his foot in there. Eddie, on that throw, so you have the Seonage, and you can do a drop Seonage, which is where? You do the same movement, but you literally fall to your knees and aim your body right underneath Q. And that would work in that situation. No wall there, you can go down.
you know it's funny i label all these matches and i label like gi and no gi and i definitely have more gi oh and the action kicks on and i don't know why i opened this was hoping it was no gi even though it's labeled gi so you pull them down beautiful so obviously you're pulling them down pulling them down pulling them down he's gonna start responding at some point by raising up and you just ankle pick let's see where you go so he's down 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 where do you initiate it right here look at look out eddie's look how eddie and q are going down watch they're going down 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 look that just stopped the the down motion just stopped which is q's q to go sorry q and look he's he's eddie already going backwards for him just taps the ankle and you're airborne already establishing a guard which is good very nice very nice perfect oh buggy choke uh-oh i think you gotta get in your side more i have no idea how to do this you guys are like you have to be like super flexible um yeah i i think you get on your side and you have to like get this all the way through this q's probably a hard person to do this on um I wonder if it's, it's something to do with getting this arm up more to kind of close that space, make that space smaller. Um, I like this active leg. That's awesome. I like that it's not being lazy either. That's great. Keep that active leg. Because if at any point Q relieves the pressure, your knee pops in. Okay? You guys should always be doing that in the bottom of the side. Your knee should be constantly pressing into that hip. Because if at any point they stop respecting that hip, it could be a problem. You do want to keep it tight so you can't put you into a leg drag, which Q almost did. What'd I do? Does that cause problems? Hold on. I'm muted. You don't have to whisper. You're good. You're good. How you doing, Chris? I'm muted. You don't have to whisper. <laughs> oh. I'm going to have to beep that out. I don't have to do editing. So this is why I mute it whatever oh you don't know why i'm laughing <laughs> sorry q messing your flow up it's a lot of pressure so let's get back to jujitsu here yeah yes q beautiful so Q comes around, exposes that arm up. All right. So this is great. Here, I would look to access mount. Especially, yeah, digging under this side. So you can you can get under by retracting your elbow to your body and sliding your forearm right underneath his elbow, kind of like a blade, and use that to expand out. That right there might even be enough. Honestly, that right there might even be enough to access mount. Mm. The tables have turned. What you could look to do, Q, is step up with this leg and extend your back leg and do like an Uchimata. And just kind of flip them over to this direction. Yeah, or or that. E crucifix. That was fancy. Nice try. I like that. All right, let's see. Very nice, Eddie. You can't let your head get buried, especially on the same side. I talked about this a few times. For you to pass, your head and your legs need to be on opposite sides of his body. Q's stiff arm. Q's got a nasty stiff arm. And I mean that technically. I'm not like Q's obviously strong. Q's got a nasty stiff arm technically. So he stiff arms the back of your head and keeps you, right? Keeps you, uh, keeps your body and your head on the same side, which makes it very difficult to get around. Yep, 
Perfect. Uh, okay, so I like the kick out. So kick out. Uh, right here, he's super elongated. I would, and you have overhooks, I think on both sides. Just pick a side and roll and get him to start responding to that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't load back up because you don't need to. If anything, if anything, I would, I would bring my butt to my feet rather than try to bring my feet back. Yeah. Okay. I guess you did. If you can do that while maintaining sitting up high, that would be better. I would fix for an underhook. Ooh. Yeah. Kimura. I saw that. That was like, that was like the warning, the warning hand. It's like, I will Kimura you. <laughs> and he's like, nope. Nice round. Good round, guys. A lot of stand up there. That's all good. Uh, makes me better at, at, at commentating stand up. Stand up. I got to work on that. Spand up. Is that what I said? Spand up? Stand up, if you will. Uh, good round. Thanks, guys. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't. And have a wonderful day. See you guys.